Hi, my name is Maria and I'm Russian, which occasionally makes it kind of weird for me to watch American movies made about Russia and Russians. So, when I found out about a show called Russian Doll, I knew I have to watch it and share my thoughts. And even though I almost immediately realized that the name refers to the premise of the show and not to one of its characters or whatever, I still have some things to talk about here. So, Russian Doll is a story about Nadia Vul Vulvakov. I think it's supposed to be a Russian second name. It doesn't sound very Russian to me, to be honest, but let's assume that it's Russian. Okay. So this Nadia, she finds herself in a very peculiar time loop where she keeps dying and dying and dying over and over again soon after her birthday party and returning back to life in a moment during that party. She tries to figure out how come she's stuck in this moment and she keeps returning back to life and it's very interesting to watch and it gives uh, the name a very peculiar double meaning. Uh, so, Russian doll, or matryoshka as we call it, uh, is a traditional souvenir toy that consists of many, many hollow dolls that go into one another. And it's an interesting choice of a name because it's not just that Nadia keeps going through her lives as if opening one matryoshka after another and finding the same freaking doll uh, inside, but also because to figure out what's actually going on, she has to open her many protective layers that she built within herself during her life and get to the core of her personal psychological trauma. And it's re really, really interesting to watch her do so. Um, and genuinely, the show is very, very well written and funny and witty and smart. However, there were several Russian details that caught my attention. First of all, it's her name, Nadia. That's a Russian name. The full version of this name is Nadezhda, which literally means hope. And I think it's really interesting and cool that they named such a messed up, lost in herself character with such a hopeful name. Secondly, and that's probably something that every Russian viewer noticed even before watching the show, and that's the undoubtable resemblance with Alla Pugacheva, the very popular in Soviet Union uh, pop singer. It's not just about this big curly red hair, it's the whole image, the black oversized clothes, the manners, the smoked voice, uh, the homage is so clear that it just can't be a coincidence. But to be honest, I'm not quite sure what this reference is about. And that's the problem with Russian details in the Russian doll. It feels like they were just brought for decoration. Nadia's Russian Jewish heritage was simply dropped in the middle of the story without any sort of exploration. It didn't matter for the story, it wasn't a part of a character development. It was just there, for no reason. And it was kind of frustrating to me, because it felt as if the creators of the show were just trying to make the show look more Russian-ish, without actually trying to make it an organic part of the story. And that was kind of sad. But it clearly doesn't diminish all the good parts of the show. I genuinely enjoyed it. I think it was really, really smart and funny. And to be honest, I was kind of surprised that it didn't take uh, an Emmy Award because I thought it deserved one. So what did you guys think about the show? Let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you for watching. And if you loved it, hate it, I just don't care. Make sure to let me know.